Airac's 30 day challenge is completely fake. And this is going to debunk every single video so far throughout the series. With the sole purpose to travel around the world in 30 days and upload a video during each of those days, it may come to surprise that these videos are actually months old and it's the way that Airac plays it off as if it's day after day that tricks you so well. The first six days were combined with the theme of crossing Europe in a perfectly straight line and day one being Ireland. Literally not even three minutes into the whole 30 day series, Airac already exposes himself as the reason to Dublin being so busy on this one particular day is the parade that he mentions. There's some kind of parade happening. All the roads around here are closed down. This is not something I anticipated, but we might have to jump out. The streets are absolutely packed with people. But this isn't any parade. It's in fact the Dublin National Services Parade that rang from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. on September 2nd. On episode two, Crossing the UK, Airac claims that this has been months in the making which couldn't be further from the truth. Oh, this has been months in the making to make this entire thing possible. It is such a crazy payoff to actually do it. Episode three, Eric wakes up in Brighton and when naming the countries he still has to go to, at exactly a minute 44 into the video, he accidentally shows his watch a bit too clearly to the camera and when you zoom in, you can read that the date is September 12th, which means that there's already been 10 days that have passed since the first upload, which busts these two videos for being filmed accurately within the 30 day challenge. The same can be said about crossing Switzerland on day four, when his three goals of the video, we're gonna collect food, we're gonna bring it to this campsite, and I'm gonna take a bite of Swiss cheese in Switzerland. And whilst cooking dinner, either the packaging happened to be wrong on the meat, or it actually expires on the 18th of September, and I'm no genius, but I'm pretty certain that eating three month old meat wouldn't be the most appetizing either. Now, seeing that Airac wasn't in the hospital for eating three month old meat in episode five or six, it's pretty safe to assume that this was filmed back in September as well. Day seven. I survived overnight in Shrek's swamp was the first video that didn't worry about being filmed in a straight line. And I think this is because of the fact that this was filmed alongside with Ryan Trahan. Greetings from your favorite donkey. I'm at Shrek swamp keeping an eye on things while my ogre bestie is away. Interesting. Sounds like donkeys somewhere around here. Donkey! Donkey! So they didn't have the capabilities to continue the straight line series. However, after realizing that Ryan posted his version of the video too, you notice that his video was posted back in October and as they're both wearing the exact same clothes, it's safe to assume that this was the same footage, confirming this video was filmed prior. Now to give credit where credit is due, at the very start of the video he mentions that he nearly missed today's upload so he had an emergency backup video that he filmed just in case he couldn't get one out on the day. What's up guys? I cannot tell you where I am right now. I just wanted to update you guys. I just finished a 13 hour flight. We almost missed our upload window and I have a few videos in this series saved for moments like this. Obviously some of the videos in this series are not filmed completely live. These videos take so much time and effort to pre-produce. So luckily I shot this video right before we shot the series in case of a moment like this. But after stating the only only a few aren't filmed live, so he has more spare videos. Only bringing this up on day seven makes us believe that every video so far has been legit when that just isn't the case. Now, seeing that day seven was a backup, we have to connect day six to day eight, which is, I bought the most expensive plane ticket. After finishing crossing Italy in day 6, we can presume that day 8 would start at the end of Italy, but after filming the insides of the plane, Airac accidentally shows where the flight is going, and it says from Houston to Dubai. Single seat is like its own- Now, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that Houston is in fact not in Italy, so this bust episode 8 as well, as it can't be in chronological order with episode 6. I survived the world's largest water park gets busted within two seconds of the video even starting. We have traveled 3,900 miles. 
And on episode 10, after testing the world's most expensive hotel, once he followed the private butler to their $3,000 per night hotel room, then after ordering a PlayStation and a jacuzzi, Erak shows the TV, which unluckily for him, is playing a breaking news segment, which when looked up, the first result is back in November 22nd, confirming this video to be pre-recorded as well. So far, Erak is one third of the way through the 30 day challenge and literally every single video has been pre-recorded, which kind of defeats the purpose when at the very start he said this. Starting December 1st, I'm going to be traveling around the entire globe uploading 30 videos in 30 days to make the most of every second that we have left. I'm going to be circling the globe over the next 30 days, ending in New York City on New Year's Eve. You guys are invited. But if I miss a day, my channel and all of my videos get deleted forever. And wanted to make that very clear too. Jumping on to episode 11 and 12, when Erak is now in Australia, at the very start of the video, he states, I just traveled 6,400 miles, three flights over 30 hours of flying, all to get to this exact location. We're in a town called Cooper PD in Australia. <laughs> and yeah, 30 hours of flying doesn't specifically work within a 24 hour time frame to post that video, which already busts the first Australia video. And then when you go to episode 12, where Erak is in Kangaroo Island, whilst Tyler is simultaneously spending the night in a $1 million RV, when you go over to Tyler's Instagram page, and check the photos he's been tagged in. This exact one with the same RV appears, which has the post date of November 27th. Then after bringing 50 competitive eaters to a buffet, with a quick glance in the description, Erak makes the mistake of tagging a good chunk of the eaters, and it wasn't long before one of them would post a video about their experience, and that just happened to be on the 19th of November, still 11 days before the challenge was even meant to start. So not only was this recorded before Australia, but before even episode 10, which means Erak is basically uploading videos at random at this point, with no correlation between the days of filming. Episode 13 was filmed in his hometown. Now I might live here in Los Angeles, but the journey is not over yet. We have to make it all the way to New York City. Which defeats the purpose of traveling across the world in 30 days. And on day 15, after stealing America's Got Talent, one contestant actually stood out to me from the rest, and that was McDeezy. And on his community tab, he uploaded a picture with Erak over a month ago, which yet again means it was most likely filmed before the previous ones. On I tried the most dangerous alarm clocks, at the start of the video he shows a thread he found showing the designs, and I managed to actually find the exact same one with the same commenters. And what surprised me is that I assumed the date of these would have been photoshopped to look recent. However, that is how long ago they were actually posted, and they're not also throwaway accounts. These are real people commenting which means this video could have been filmed on the proper date, which is about time because we are over halfway through the challenge and this is the first video that has actually been filmed in the 30 day December challenge. To finish things off with, the most recent video as of recording is the worst Uber driver prank and this is the intro to that video. If you are seeing this video, something bad happened. Let me clarify, I'm doing a series where I'm going around the world in 30 days making a brand new video on this channel every single day and now to stack the odds in my favor before we started the series i pre-recorded some videos like last week i uh, uploaded this video that was never going to be seen by the world of me going to shrek swamp and today i'm going to show you one of my favorite videos that i did not post which is the fake uber prank on my fellow youtubers and with well over 30 days 120 days to be exact to get all of these videos out only time will tell what the rest of the uploads will be